Hello and welcome to Johnson Controls, the world leader in smart, healthy and sustainable buildings. Today, we will get up close and personal with our leaders and get their take on what it means to be a part of Johnson Controls today. The, the values that are really important for any sales and commercial leader are to be customer driven and to operate as one team. Uh, and this really brings together the best out of any commercial team in terms of driving performance, in terms of uh, you know getting growth. And uh, the best example that I could quote is uh, a, a, a particular data center customer that was looking at expanding across multiple countries in Asia Pacific and how people from different functions came together, together with sales teams to ensure that we understand customer needs better, we are able to offer the customer the best solution, which is differentiated, and, and also then help and look at this from a complete wing-to-wing -wing perspective from pre-sales to post-sales. And the team was able to offer a, a solution that the customer continued to adopt as they were scaling across Asia Pacific. So my experience with the company culture has been uh, really good. Uh, I think Johnson Controls, we as a company really empower our sales and our frontline sales particularly to, to make decisions. Uh, work very closely with their sales managers to ensure that we are we are quick and we stay very close to customers when you are making those decisions in the interest of the company and the customers. Secondly, from an executive support standpoint, we have the entire Asia Pacific leadership team as well as the country leadership team available to support these sales leaders. It could be around proposals, it could be around uh, technical uh, solution development, it could be around legal contracts, and this support then ensures that the team operated the, at the highest level of efficiency. And last but not the least is this whole element around reward and recognition. We ensure that our teams get rewarded, uh, whether it's in terms of Bravo points or town hall recognitions. And this drives the right level of motivation for the team to continue to outperform and, and be customer focused and get the right results and outcomes. Uh, it's, it's a very important part of uh, the DNA of the company, as you know, that we really embrace DEI. I personally came from oil and gas background uh, into a key accounts role at JCI, and my peers really embraced my background to help them look at things from a fresh perspective. And in, especially for sales and commercial leaders, it's a, it's a huge strate strategic advantage. We are always keeping that at the top of our mind when we are thinking about talent development. You know, it could be acquiring talent externally, it could also be looking at talent within the company when it comes to rotations and in terms of you know taking the team to the next level. We are always looking at at, at DNI when we look at this. Secondly, uh, when it comes to any kind of commercial strategy, when we want to brainstorm and triangulate with the team, we bring in people from different backgrounds uh, to really get the right level of discussion going in the interest of both the customers as well as the organization overall. And last but not the least is think about proposal development, you know, it, it's, it's complex because you need to involve experts from different functions. You need to bring technical, contractual, all kinds of people together. And that again, you know, there's a fair bit of uh, innovation and, and diverse thinking that goes in. So having diverse set of team members as you think of a, a proposal is also a, a great way to, to differentiate ourselves in the marketplace and also with our customers. <music>